Our topic here is about couples. Couple is defined as the system in force whose magnitude of the resultant is zero and yet has moment sum. Geometrically, couple is composed of two equal forces that are parallel to each other and acting in opposite direction. And if we are going to take the resultant of the forces here, what we will have is equal to zero since these forces are parallel with each other but in opposite direction. But this will create a moment. As you can see here, in this case, we will be having a clockwise moment created by the forces. And since we have here the pair of forces, this is considered as a couple. The magnitude of the couple is given in this formula. We have the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance. So these forces here has equal magnitude. For example, if this is 2 kN, then this is also equal to 2 kN but in opposite direction. And this distance here is the perpendicular distance. So in this formula, the F represents the two forces. And this D here is the perpendicular distance between the two forces. Let's take note of this. The couple is independent of the moment center. Thus, the effect is unchanged in the following condition. So, if we have here a force system, the properties of the couple, it says here that the effect of the couple is unchanged given the following condition. So, for example, we have this couple here with the magnitude of F and the distance of D. Now, if we are going to rotate this the same you know, in this location, so we are not going to change the location, we're just going to rotate this. Let's say this would be now direction of this F here, and this F would be this direction as long as they are parallel, of course. And now this is the D. So, this will not change the magnitude of the couple since even if we are going to change the direction or we rotated them in our plane. So changing the angle does not change the magnitude of the couple. And also, it will be unchanged if the couple is shifted to another position. So, for example, this is the location of the couple and we are going to transfer them here. Now, changing the location or the position does not change its magnitude. So still, this would be the couple which is forced time distance. And if the couple is shifted to a parallel plane, it will not also change its effect. So for example, this is the plane that I am talking about. And we have here this couple here with, of course, the distance B. This is another plane. And we are going to transfer these forces here. And we are going to transfer those pair of forces here. The same they will create the same effect. In a case where a system is composed entirely of couples in the same plane or parallel plane, the resultant is a couple whose magnitude is the algebraic sum of the original couple. So kung meron tayong force system and we are talking about the same plane or parallel plane, the resultant couple is just the algebraic sum of the original couple. So let's have an example for this. Problem number one. A couple consists of two vertical forces of 60 pounds each. One force acts up at A 
and the other acts down through D. So, in this figure, kung ito translate natin, itong given natin, and it says that we have two vertical forces, 60 pound each. One acts up through A. So, dito sa A, we have the upward force equal to 60 pounds. And the other acts down through B. So, dito sa point B, we have downward 60 pounds. We are asked to transform the couple into an equivalent couple having the horizontal forces acting at point E and F. So, it happens lead down natin ito. In such a way, na magkakaroon tayo ng Here, 120 pound inch is equal to P multiplied by 3 inches. And solving for this, the P is equal to 40 pounds. And this is our answer.